my name is Nina, creator of Coco Nina, right here on YouTube. And today I'm bringing you an awesome topic to 411 Mamas. Today we're going to talk about balance. A little bit about me I am a military mom and wife, and I'm stationed overseas at the moment. And my kids are in extracurricular sports. So my day starts super early and it ends super late. And of course, I went through a phase where I was going crazy everywhere, but I had to learn how to balance. And today, hopefully my tips can help you find that balance in your life as well. The first thing you wanna do is prioritize. You need to ask yourself, what is important now? If it's not something that needs to be handled right in this moment, then it's best to say that you can push it to the end of your list. I like to take all of my to-do lists um, and take them and number them you know, one through 10. Anything that is closer to 10 is something that I try to find a different day to do it on. Now, some people might look at it as procrastination, but at the same time, if you're always trying to get everything done right in that day, you can tend to run yourself ragged, and sometimes you can tend to not get any sleep. And once you become a mom, honestly, you need your sleep. So definitely learn how to say no to things that aren't important now, and keep your sanity by doing the things that are important. The next thing you wanna do is jot it down. I have mommy brain, and I know there's a lot of women out there that do have mommy brain, probably you do. Once you get mommy brain, it seems like the end of the world because you start to forget little birthday parties, basketball practice. It can be very, very draining. But if you jot it down, then you'll definitely have a second thing to keep you on top of everything to remind you what needs to be done. I used to have a journal, but then I discovered that iPhone is so easy. I downloaded a few apps and these apps helped me to do everything from my grocery list to my money management, all the way to giving me alarms for different events that I have coming up. Just finding a way to jot it down is the key. You want to make sure that you jot everything down. I can't say that enough. Jot it down. Make sure that you always make time for you. Make sure you find something that you love to do and do it. My uh, thing that I love to do is to go and get massages. So I have to make sure that I book it like it's an appointment and I make myself go to it. Even if I don't feel like going, I just make it like an appointment and once I get there, I'm so happy that I did it and it gives me such energy and relaxation that I can keep it moving. If you're just that person that's like, I just can't do it, then this next tip is for you. Power off. Power off. Sometimes if you just go in a quiet room, turn everything off, turn your phone, turn your electronics off, and just sit there in silence, that can be the ultimate just energy boost that you need to get through the day. Once you learn to be content with silence and to just sit there and be comfortable with you, that can just make you feel so amazing because you're just sitting there and you're just realizing that everything is going to be okay. Once you realize that, you'll definitely have more energy to get it done. You definitely want to get a friend. Sometimes having another female source near you to talk to you and help you through situations can be the most amazing thing ever. So for you to come to 411 Mamas, that's definitely awesome for you because now you have a community of other women that are going through the same thing that you're going through that can help you understand that being a mama is hard. Being a mom can be tough, but it can also be rewarding. And we're all here to help. So hopefully those tips that I gave you can help you find balance. And if you want to see more from me, then make sure you thumbs up and leave a comment. I want to know what do you do to find balance? What do you do to make time for yourself? And I'll see you later. Bye!